Day 62, Joshua 15 through 17, a long month for Judah, Ephraim, and Manasseh. 15, a long month for Judah. 16, a long month for Ephraim and Manasseh. 17, West Manasseh. Chapter 15, it is no breach of God's law moderately to desire those comforts and convenience of life which are attainable in a fair and regular way and will make us more efficient workmen for God. Chapter 15 The lot for the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families, was to the border of Edom, even to the wilderness of Zin southward, at the uttermost part of the south. Their south border was from the uttermost part of the Salt Sea, from the bay that looked southward, and it went out southward from the ascent of Akarabim, and passed along to Zin, and went up by the south of Kadesh Barnea, and passed along by Hezron, and went up to Adar, and turned about to Karka, and it passed along to Asmon, and went out at the brook of Egypt, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. This shall be your south border. The east border was the Salt Sea, even to the end of the Jordan. The border of the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the end of the Jordan, and the border went up to Beth Hogla, and passed along by the north of Beth Araba, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and the border went up to Debir from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is over against the ascent of Adumim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed along to the waters of En Shemesh, and the goings out of it were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom, to the side of the Jebusite southward, the same as Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the uttermost part of the valley of Rephaim northward. And, and the border extended from the top of the mountain to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border extended to Bela, the same as Kiriath-Jerim. And the border turned out from about from Bela westward to Mount Seir, and passed along to the side of Mount Jerim on the north, the same as Chesalon, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed along by Timnah. And the border went out to the side of Ekron northward, and the border extended to Shikaron, and passed along to Mount Bela, and went out at Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. The west border was to the great sea, and the border of it. This is the border of the children of Judah round about according to their families. To Caleb the son of Jephunneh he gave a portion among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even Kiriath Arba, which Arba was the father of Anak, the same as Hebron. Caleb drove out there the three sons of Anak, Sheshai, and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. He went up there against the inhabitants of Debir. Now the name of Debir before was Kiriath Sefer. Caleb said, He who strikes Kiriath Sefer and takes it, to him will I give Aksha, my daughter, as wife. Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it and he gave him Aksha his daughter as wife. It happened when she came to him that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she alighted from off her donkey, and Caleb said, What do you want? She said, Give me a blessing, for you have set me in the land of the south. Give me also springs of water. He gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. The uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabzil and Eder and Jagger, and Kina and Dimona and Adada, and Kedish and Hazor and Ithan, and Telim and Beeloth, Hazor Hadada, Kirioth Hezron, the same as Hazor, Ammon and Shema and Molada, and Hazar Gada and Heshmon and Beth Belet, and Hazar Shual and Beersheba, and Bisiothia, and Bela, and Aim, and Ezem, and Eltolad, and Chesel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Laboth, and Shilhim, 
and Ain, and Rimon. All the cities are twenty-nine, with their villages. In the lowlands, Eshtaol, and Zora and Ashna, and Zanoa, and Inganim, Tapua, and Inam, Jarmuth, and Adulam, Soka, Azeka, and Sharaim, and Adithaim, and Gedera, and Gedorothaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zinan, and Hadasha, and Migdal Gad, and Dilian, and Mizpah, and Jokdiel, Lakish, and Boskath, and Eglon, and Kabon, and Laman, and Chidlish, and Gedroth, Beth Dagon, and Nama, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Ifta, and Asna, and Nezib, and Kela, and Akzib, and Maresha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with its towns and its villages, from Ekron even to the sea, all that were by the side of Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod its towns and its villages, Gaza its towns and its villages, to the brook of Egypt and the great sea and the border of it, in the hill country, Shamir and Jatir and Soko, and Dana and Kiriasana, the same is Debir, and Anab, and Eshtemo, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holan, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages, Ereb, and Duma, and Ishan, and Janim, and Beth Tapua, and Afeka, and Humta, and Kiriath Arba, the same as Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Ziv, and Juta, and Jezreel, and Jokdiam, and Zanoah, Cain, Gibeah, and Timna, ten cities with their villages, Halhul, Besur, and Kedor, and Marath, and Bethanon, and Eltekon, six cities with their villages, Kiriath Baal, the same as Kiriath Jarim, and Raba, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Beth Ereba, Midin, and Sakaka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and in Gedai, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah couldn't drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem to this day. Chapter 16 The lot came out for the children of Joseph from the Jordan at Jericho, at the waters of Jericho on the east, even the wilderness, going up from Jericho through the hill country to Bethel, and it went out from Bethel to Luz, and passed along to the border of the Archites to Ataroth, and it went down westward to the border of the Japhletites, to the, to the border of beth Horon the lower, even to Gezer, and the goings out of it were at the sea. The children of Joseph, Manasseh and Ephraim, took their inheritance. The border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. The border of their inheritance eastward was Ataroth Adar, to Beth Horon the upper, and the border went out westward at Michmathath, on the north, and the border turned about eastward to Tanath Shiloh, and passed along it on the east of Janoa, and it went down from Janoa to Ataroth, and to Nara, and reached to Jericho, and went out at the Jordan. From Tapua the border went along westward to the brook Ekana, and the goings out of it were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, together with the cities which were set apart for the children of Ephraim in the midst of the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. They didn't drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell in the midst of Ephraim to this day, and are become servants to do forced labor. Chapter 17 this was the lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph. As for Mechir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead in Bashan. So the lot was for the rest of the children of Manasseh, according to their families, for the children of Abiezer, and for the children of Helek, and for the children of Asriel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida. These were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, according to their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, 
but daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Mala and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirsa. They came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brothers. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brothers of their father. There fell ten parts to Manasseh, besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, which is beyond the Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons. The land of Gilead belonged to the rest of the sons of Manasseh. The border of Manasseh was from Asher to Michmathath, which is before Shechem, and the border went along to the right hand, to the inhabitants in Intapua. The land of Tapua belonged to Manasseh, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. The border went down to the brook of Cana, southward of the brook. These cities belonged to Ephraim among the cities of Manasseh, and the border of Manasseh was on the north side of the brook, and the goings out of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea was his border, and they reached to Asher on the north, and Issachar on the east. Manasseh had an Issachar, and an Asher Bethshain and its towns, and Iblium and its towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and its towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and its towns, and the inhabitants of Tanakh and its towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its towns, even the three heights. Yet the children of Manasseh couldn't drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. It happened, when the children of Israel had grown strong, that they put the Canaanites to forced labor, and didn't utterly drive them out. The children of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given me but one lot and one part for an inheritance, seeing I am a great people? Because hereto Yahweh has blessed me. Joshua said to them, If you are a great people, go up to the forest, and cut down for yourself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the Rephaim, since the hill country of Ephraim is too narrow for you. The children of Joseph said, The hill country is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites who dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are in Bethshain and its towns, and they who are in the valley of Jezreel. Joshua spoke to the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, You are a great people, and have great power. You shall not have one lot only, but the hill country shall be yours, for though it is a forest, you shall cut it down and the goings out of it shall be yours, for you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have chariots of iron, and though they are strong.